Hello, YouTube. Just thought I would uh, take a moment to talk about something interesting I saw last night. Um, nice rainy weather, by the way. This is great. Last night I had a nice clear night out here. I'm in eastern Oklahoma, okay? So I go to start my car, and there's this what looked like almost as bright as, a, as the moon, kind of smaller, encased in a cloud that was moving from kind of a west to east direction on the horizon right before sunset, right? So I'm watching this, and I'm kind of like, okay, that's weird as shit. I didn't know if it was a helicopter, a drone, a plane, or anything like that. <clears throat> well, anyway, um, as I'm watching this thing, what appears to be like a an expansion of the cloud with a gaseous sort of whitish blue light comes out of this thing as it exposes itself. It's more more light. I uh, kind of freak out. I'm like, holy shit, what the fuck is this thing, right? You know? And um, I run in, I get my daughter. I thought, okay, I gotta, I gotta make sure I'm seeing what I'm seeing here. I'm not going fucking nuts, okay? Because it kind of stops and it emits this like bluish white light off the, at the uh, ends of it. And I get my daughter, she sees the, the end of what I'm saying. She's watching this light. And then it moves, it, keep, it keeps moving east. And it looks like just a moving kind of cloud in this middle of a cloudless sky. And then it just seems to sort of disintegrate and vanish right in front of us. Okay, and my daughter's kind of like, holy shit, what's this? You know, she's, she's 17 years old and she's like, what the fuck is going on, you know? And I'm like, I gotta know what the hell this thing is. It's kind of like a... UAP or UFO situation, you know? So immediately I get on YouTube and I start looking at, uh, you know, I kind of typed in what would be the, um, the description of what I saw. And immediately I get a lot of people commenting. A lot of people saw this, especially in Oklahoma and Texas. Some saw it two months ago, some saw it five months ago. And a couple of them have some video which looks very similar to what I'd seen. Now, what was great about this was it immediately goes into these two different camps, right? You have the end of the world, biblical Christian sort of people who say, oh, we're seeing all this end times and all this other shit, right? Then you have the people who are very much taking the news story, oh, it's the uh, SpaceX satellite launches and the way they... They, they get into details about as far as which stage of the rocket is coming apart and all that. Some people make some good, you know, counterpoints. I say this seems like a cover-up in light of, you know, how is a gaseous cloud expanding in front of the path of the so-called rocket going Mach 3, right? Some questions that are worth considering, okay, that sound like bullshit. So, well, I'm out here with my dogs, by the way. So as, I, as I'm watching this, I'm kind of like, okay, I read the comments, and I'm leaning towards the SpaceX explanation of things, obviously. You know, I'm trying to be rational about it. But the, some of the questions posed by other people is, like, legitimately worth considering. And it kind of got me to thinking about, um, you know, I, I'd seen something else as a kid when I grew up in Wyoming and clear skies. And, of course, I assumed military aircraft. That's a whole different story, you know. And, and this could be the same sort of situation. But what really caught my attention here is so many people just will not accept or trust the official narrative or story put out by government or media. And they have good reason not to. They have, it's perfectly reasonable. Um, you have some people that are like just paranoid as fuck and hiding in their basement. And they're like, it's the end times. It's that kind of paranoia. They're looking for every possible, they, to defy any possible explanation provided by media or government. Then you have the other people who are diehard shills for the government. They're like, you know, you know, put up your tinfoil hats and the government tells us the truth every time and they're totally reliable. You're just fucking crazy. It's like, no, the government lies to us on a constant basis. They've been lying to us about every small thing, about whether it's political leaders or, or, or laws or legislation. Um, and, I, and I've noticed that uh, this goes along with, uh, depending on what party is leaning to be more tyrannical at any given point, you know, whether it's Republicans at one point wanting to force your kids to pray in school or whether it's the mess that you see the Democrat Party is now, people just do not trust an institution that will lie to us willingly, feed us misinformation, gaslight the shit out of us. They do that all the time. 
So we're at a point where you really can't trust the official narrative. So what I saw in the sky, do I think was man-made? Probably so. Uh, but do I have room for doubt? Yes, absolutely. Uh, people who are reasonable, prudent, thinking individuals who can, you know, hey, I'm not an astrophysicist, so I'm not going to get there and say this is what it is or this is what it isn't. But I'm going to question everything that's spoon-fed to me by this media and this government. They are not trustworthy. They're not worth it. So anyway, thought I'd throw that out there. It's, it's weird as shit to see it. If you see this, some of you might know what I'm talking about, you know. Um, you might have seen something similar or seen this before. Um, it's kind of cool to see. It's kind of cool to see. Either way, uh, just a little food for thought. Are you? Uh, do you believe everything Uncle Sam fucking tells you? If you are, you're a dipshit. Or uh, are you been on the tinfoil hat wearing goofy side too? You know. Or can you just be a normal fucking person who's who's like, I just need more information. How about just give me the straight up information? If the government came out and said, hey, this is some top secret, uh, um, top secret uh, <laughs> uh, project we're working on, you know, fuck you guys, we're keeping it under wraps because you don't have the need to know. I'll be like, okay, okay, that's cool. I can get, I can get behind that. And on the other hand, if they're hiding uh, possible other life forms from other planets or they just don't know what the fuck's going on. If they're, they, they're more likely to say, we don't know shit, but we're going to pretend we do know. They're more likely to feign uh, knowledge when they're really ignorant. You know, they don't want their... The one thing that these people in power want to maintain is a sense of they have everything under control. And they don't have shit under control most of the time. It's They got a shitload of money, they throw at things, and they get a cut from it. You know, obviously, we know how that goes. But they really don't have shit under control. So anyway, people, I'm saying... Trust your instincts. Trust your own reason. Yeah. Be open-minded, but not so open-minded that your brains fall out. Okay? Anyway, I think I'm going to hop off here and get my dogs back inside. Have a good day, folks.